we're back with treatment to the hand we're using the 15mm convex head again we're going to enter our settings into the machine just as we have done on the previous treatments you see we need to bring the pressure down here to 1 bar equivalent 60 millijoules coming down to 2000 shocks and we're going to go at 10 hertz again we're back the hand here treatment between the 4th and 5th metacarpals put some gel on, spread the gel out and start with treatment to the hand the central part of the gutter between the two metacarpals seems to have cleared and there are two focal areas now of discomfort one down at the uh, proximal phalangeal joint and one up at the carpo metacarpal joint. And we're going to try and concentrate on those two areas today by adding a little bit of shockwave into each. We'll do as much as we dare, come up to the area, just loiter on the area for a few shocks. You can see the pain in the patient. You can actually see the hand twitching as we come onto that area. You'll probably see the patient gesturing. So that's the painful area. And then down at the bottom, there appears to be a small lump at the bottom, a lump of scar tissue. And we believe that's onto one of the tendons, actually, for one of the uh, fi uh, long finger tendons, probably one of the adductor tendons. We'll concentrate on that small area, although that does tend to be extremely painful. And then we come back up to the carpal metacarpal end and concentrate on that area as well. Like I say, the scar tissue in the gutter seems to have cleared. There's a definite gap now between the, a distinct gap between the two uh, metacarpal bones. And the patient is much more able to make a fist. His strength is coming up in his hand, he's actually, his strength is returning, his grip strength, his power grip strength I should say is returning. And overall he's very pleased with the progress. To say for a year he really hasn't made any steps forward. Uh, this treatment seems to be working very effectively. So this is the fourth treatment onto the hand. We will be videoing the whole series of these and putting them up onto the uh, onto YouTube and the website. Once again, you can see us concentrating on the two most painful areas. You see the patient actually moving his arm uh, because of the pain. And let's say the whole thing is much less tender than it was originally when he found it very difficult to tolerate treatment anywhere on the gutter between the uh, two metacarpals. And we just keep moving here until we finish off the 2,000 shocks. Wow! I've got your spare piece of tissue today. <laughs> what a piece of kit. <laughs> 